welcome back to Politics Unplugged. Secretary of State Adrian Fontes is asking for an investigation into failed gubernatorial candidate Carrie Lake after she posted images of voters' signatures. But she's not the first to display these images. Even some sitting lawmakers have done it. So what's going on here? And here to talk about that is with us today is Vote Beat reporter Jen Fifield. I want to thank you very much for being here. Now, obviously, let's start with the letter real quick. Obviously, he wants an investigation into Carrie Lake for this. But what's his rationale? What's he saying in this letter? Well, we're talking about the signatures on mail-in envelopes. Everybody signs to say, this is my ballot, and you're not allowed to post those publicly if you have those records. Normally, it's just county officials that have them. When you fill out your voter registration form, you have your signature there. They compare it to make sure it matches with the ballot you mail in. So it's against Arizona law to post those. Carrie Lake did. Adrian Fontes, the new Secretary of State, is asking the new Democratic Secretary uh, Democratic Attorney General to look into the violation of state law there. Yeah, and she's still non-committal on whether or not she's going to move forward on this investigation. But let's go back and then move back forward to how we got here. Um, where did Carrie like, get these images? Um, she's not the only one to have been posting these. So start at the beginning here. These signatures have been out there for a while. And you're right, she was not the first one to post those publicly. She got them from an organization called We the People that since 2020 has been trying to prove widespread fraud through research by looking at things like voter signatures. Mm -hmm. They got them from the Arizona Senate that got them from Maricopa County back during the audit mm -hmm. of the 2020 election. And so the Senate was under confidentiality, supposed to maintain those secretly. Mm -hmm. And instead, they gave them to We the People, this group, who did an analysis, posted that analysis on their website. Um, State Senator Sonny Brelli shared them as in a presentation this fall. So that he was on Steve Bannon posting them as well. So they've been out there and posted before. Carrie Lake picked them up for her lawsuit and then posted them on Twitter. And that's kind of the long history of how we got here. Yeah, and, and again, we mentioned, you know, she wasn't the first one. Other lawmakers like Sonny Borelli, reporters have, have maybe retweeted uh, some of this. Um, t t talk to us a little bit about what's at stake here. This is a class six felony. This carries some serious, potential serious problems. Well. Any voter identification vote, uh, is very sensitive information, obviously, and you, you know, you, under any state law, not just Arizona, you shouldn't be sharing that. Mm -hmm. um, meanwhile, are you going to then put, give everyone a, fena a felony who shared these signature images mm -hmm. online? Are you going to do that to we the people? Or are you going to do that to the other senators who shared them? Mm -hmm. Are we going to go back to the Senate and say, why did you give them out in the first place? So there's a lot of questions about, about who's going to be implicated here. Yeah, and um, have you spoken with, had any communications with, uh, you know, Secretary of State's office? Uh, you know, what are they saying why they moved forward the way they have on this? I actually haven't, but I should. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. <laughs> okay, well, you know, it's the one thing, because, you know, I've, I have found, like, I've been trying to get a, some response from them. I was asking them a few questions. They're telling me that it's all up to the Attorney General now to go ahead and sort through all of this and figure this out. And again, uh, uh, Attorney General Chris Mays, the new Attorney General Chris Mays, she's very much uncommittal and noncommittal on this. I mean, what's the response you're getting from some of your sources? Is this political theater? Is this uh, a serious effort from the Secretary of State's office? Well, it is a law, right? And, and it is a violation of the law to post them. So mm -hmm. it's a serious concern. Um, but whether, you know, two Democrats now taking office when they had a very contentious election mm -hmm. against Republicans um, and then targeting a Republican who had a very um, some thoughts about elections that Fontes had ran. Um, you know, it, it is. It does seem to be a political move to to go after a particular person. Um, but again, it is a violation of of law if if that's what's found. So. All right. Well, we're going to have to end it right there. I thank you very much for joining us here today and kind of break, going through all of this. It's a kind of a long, it's a long, complicated story here on all, all this thing. So thanks for breaking all of that down. And coming up next, I'll 